In the extra format, we will use multi markdown to LaTeX conversion. Then we hit export. We then use this small trick to go quickly to the folder. Then I set this document to the massive proposal tech uh, name and click export. You saw now that Scrivener was working. It gave us actually a new document here called uh, master thesis proposal tech. I can close the other document now. And from here, we the only thing we need to do you see, all this happened, all this preamble thing happened for us automatically. And it even has provided our part here, what is glitch, with a label and did everything we need to do for us automatically. And this is the magic of uh, multi markdown because it does so many things for us automatically. So let us view our very beautiful document now. I had uh, command R here in TextMate. This compiles the draft or the latex document and then we select view in TextMate to get a PDF preview right in TextMate. Let me just make it a bit bigger. You see we have a beautiful um, title page along with a date and the document name. Here we have a blank page which says it is formatted for LaTeX by multi markdown. We have a table of contents which is currently not filled. And then our first part starts saying what is glitch. Here you see our beautiful picture and all the text below. We can compile our document a second time so that we, that we don't get a warning while we compile it. And when we go to the contents here, you see that we are now have contents in our PDF. This was pretty cool and we did a really great job here. The only thing that annoys me is that we have here uh, a bit of, of a fraction display because I'm referring here to uh, musical notes and it's quite awkward to show these notes here as these sort of fractions which reads 1 slash 32. So in order to get rid of this, you have something like a quick math mode. You actually just put all the mathematical numbers inside double less than and double bigger than. And this, let me repeat this here. Oopsie. And here as well. And now when we export our document, again to LaTeX and I don't change anything else. Let me just grab the name again. I want to replace that file. Scrivener is again working. When I go back to our proposal, you see TextMate has reloaded the document and you see here what happened in the background automatically for us. This is so brilliant. I'm so excited whenever I see it that it has put everything inside dollars with a frac and actually exactly like LaTeX want the document to look like. And I can and I can rerun the compile of this document and oops when I go down now you see that we have beautiful fractions in our first LaTeX document produced by Scrivener. So this was it for the first part of the Scrivener tutorials. We will now move on and make this small project a bit bigger. It will not become very big, but it will become so big that you will so learn so much stuff that you can use it for your own projects. And maybe then we will continue and describe how LaTeX actually works for normal users. So I hope you like this screencast. Give me feedback if you want to see more or want what you want to see in this uh, screencast. And see you later. Bye. Uh -huh.